Hi everyone, my name is James Whistler and today I'm going to show you how to use the code tabs in Einspeed Designer version 6.2. Code tabs enable us to easily identify, access and maintain the code behind the common methods associated with our web pages. They're found in design mode and can be seen here on the screen underneath the Excel type editor within the design mode screen. The page we're looking at here is the Show Categories table page within the Southwind example which is shipped with Ironspeed Designer and we're looking at cell A1 containing the Categories table control on that page. Underneath there we can see a number of different yellow tabs. These are the code tabs associated with the Categories table control as it runs on the Show Categories table ASPX page and by clicking on any of these tabs I can see the code that runs for each of the methods associated with that control. Code tabs are context sensitive. The tabs displayed at the bottom of the Quick View Editor always reflect the, ed the cell which we've selected in the editor above. As I click through the control hierarchy within the Show Categories table screen, you can see that the different code tabs appear depending on what I've selected and I can always click on any one of them to review the code associated with that method. In this example if I select the description field you can see the code displayed underneath for the set description method which populates the literal as it's displayed on the show tables page on the screen. If I wanted to modify this code all I simply need to do is type my override directly into, into the screen and you will immediately see that the color of the tab changes to orange to indicate that I've overridden the uh, default method. Having made my change to the method, the restore option becomes available to me to reset the method code back to the default. Simply clicking on that restore button will ask me whether I want to remove my code customization and reset the method back to its original. If I click yes, the tab is displayed once again in yellow to show that it is actually the default code and not my overridden method. The true power or benefit of the code tab method may only really be obvious to you if you look and, and spot where the code originally is stored and where it's processed in, the, in Designer. If we look up here to the Controls VB tab here, this is now showing me all of the control code behind this screen and I can go to the base Con table control row and in there I can find the set description VB code which is displayed under here. That's what I would have to do to attempt to find that code in the old method without the code tabs and to override it I would have to select all of this code from section 2, copy it, navigate to the section 1 of the code, paste it in, and introduces an override. With the code copied up into section 1, I'm then at liberty to make my own changes to that code, such as this. Code tabs automate the code override process for us they automatically find the correct method in section 2 and copy it to section 1 where we can safely amend it confident that we will not overwrite our changes as we regenerate our application. If I go through and delete this code now from section 1, let's run an example and go through and introduce an override using the code tab. We go to the ASPX page, delete my method out of there. By clicking on the description field, we can see the code, the set method appear in the code tab underneath. Let's introduce an override into that code and see how it affects our screen. Before we introduce our override to the method, let's have a look at the live preview of the screen and see what it looks like already. If I click on live preview, I pop across, you can see that we've got the list of categories displayed in the show table. The, method I'm going to override is the set description method which means we're going, we can change the literal or the visibility of the literal or the value of the literal as it's displayed in that table. So let's switch back to design mode and introduce an override. By clicking on the code tab we've automatically copied up the code from section 2 to section 1. 
However, at this stage, as we've not yet modified the method, the tab is still shown in yellow. I'm going to introduce a very simple override at the end of this method. After, just before we display the literal, I'm going to prefix it with the word description. Introducing the override is as simple as this. I'm taking the value from the data source and simply prefixing it with the literal description. You can see now that the code tab has changed to the orange color indicating that I have introduced an override into the code. Let's switch back to live preview and see what the changes look like. If we now click across to the live preview again we should now see that the literal for the description is prefixed with the word description as I've selected it and edited it in the code. Going back to design mode you can see quickly that by selecting the different elements or cells within the editor you can very easily identify which methods have been overridden simply by identifying the color of the code tab. We can then also switch to the controls VB file behind this page and we can see that the code tab has correctly copied up the set description method for us and our code, our override code, which I'll highlight here, has been correctly applied for us. If I switch back to design mode, to remove that override is as simple as clicking the restore button and designer will prompt us to make sure that we do want to remove that override which I will then do and it pops back to yellow. Another aspect of the code tabs which is of enormous use and is quite frequently overlooked uh, is the documentation that's supplied with the product. Looking in the set method code tab here for the description field we click on the document setting and we're then presented with an extensive array of documentation about that method, how it's used and how we can override it. Um, in addition to that, Designer actually performs overrides within that documentation to make it relevant to the field that we're looking at. Let me show you that if I click on the category name description, or the category name field rather, I can then see that all of the documentation relating to that method is now changed to make it specific to the page that I'm looking at and the specific field that I'm looking at. So we've looked at code tabs and where they're found within the product, how we can identify whether overrides have been applied um, and how they make the process of making simple overrides to common methods dramatically more simple. I hope that you found this introduction useful and that it will help you to introduce overrides into your own code via the code tabs. Thanks for watching.